today we are going to uh, learn about one more important topic that is jsp scripting elements what do you mean by scripting elements okay so before that let me tell you like uh, what is a jsp file jsp file is a file which contains html code along with some java code okay so there is a big question mark so html code you can write in this jsp file okay that is fine but the question here is how we can write uh, java code inside the jsp page so for that we are going to use one special technique to place the java code inside the jsp file so what we are going to do is like we are going to use some tags that is provided by the jsp that tags we are going to discuss in this um, video okay so before that uh, as i have said uh, the jsp file okay let me tell you who process this jsp file the jsp file that is processed by the server okay so as a response the pure html code will be sent back to the uh, browser okay so uh, actually where uh, I, I have shown you a couple of examples right i am writing every uh, jsp file inside the web app so similarly the jsp file always it will go in the web app folder okay let me create one jsp file okay Th that is a file the file is scripting uh, scripting element dot jsp i am naming this is a scripting element dot jsp file okay fine so what my intention here is like i am i am going to write some code that is the, so i have told in the beginning that the jsp file will contain the html code along with the java code okay i'll how we can write the html code so html code starts with the html okay html tag okay we will provide the html tag then followed by then body whatever the content we want to write okay before that uh, i want i want to write the um, header tag for the this one uh, for the jsc file what what this page actually contains right so hello uh, welcome to jsp uh, scripting elements scripting elements tag okay so scripting element tag and i will close the uh, header okay so i will close the header okay this will be uh, display on the top of the our page okay fine so let me close close the html how we will close i will close the body first body first then followed by followed by the html okay html okay i have closed the html tag now the thing is that so we are just trying to write here some java code java code how we can write this java code so as i have told I, there are there are a uh, couple of tags that is provided by the jsp by using which we can write our java code okay that will whenever we process this uh, jsp we will run this jsp file then we will get the um, dynamic content okay with the instead of html like instead of uh, uh, writing the java uh, java code inside the java class what we are going to do here is we are going to jsp file pro gives the flexibility that we can write even we can write the java code inside the jsp file okay so in order to write the tags in jsp uh, what we can do we can represent the tags by angular bracket and percentage and and this one um, whenever we have written some java code for example we have written some java code and we want to end so while ending we, again we have to do uh, percentage and uh, uh, angular bracket okay and here is the some java code for example some java code is the like xyz is the some java code okay so this is the java code this is the tag beginning and this is the tag ending so i have told three tags we have the first one first one is uh, scriptlet tag okay uh, first one is scriptlet tag scriptlet tag means okay let me write scriptlet tag okay okay the first tag name is scriptlet tag okay how we can uh, write the uh, java code inside the scriptlet tag okay let me copy these things scriptlet tag is one thing 
and uh, down the line one more there are three tags that is that JSP is provide one is cripplet tag one is uh, uh, expression expression tag another one is declaration declaration tag okay so the code how we will write that that we are going to see okay so this is first this is the one is scriptlet tag and second one is expression tag and third one is third one is declaration tag by using scriptlet tag we can write uh, we can write our java code inside the scriptlet tag and by using expression tag also we can write the java code and declaration also uh, in declaration tag also we can write the java code but the thing is that what is the difference between that them the, here we are trying to uh, learn how we can write the java code inside the tags okay the scriptlet tags uh, simply it will open the uh, angular bracket and percentage here we are going to write the so here uh, we are we are trying to print the today days okay today date today date okay today date is well, i am trying to write here new java dot util dot date okay date is the uh, it is from the java code okay whenever we run this jsp we will get the today days okay so here we are trying to print the today's test okay uh, we are writing the java code so we will write the java code inside the tag so how the same code we are trying uh, the same new uh, this date it will print the same code how we can write by using the expression tag for the expression tag you, you know right uh, we are going to uh, write equal symbol or equals okay so here we will write uh, this we are we are going to write the Java code inside that. Okay, the suit today's date also I will print here and today's date and here today's date. So here our intention is to print the uh, today date by using the Java code. So here uh, by to write the Java uh, the output the response uh, in the browser what I are going to write out dot uh, will will use the um, implicit object right out dot print okay uh, new java dot util dot date okay this will print the today date okay and we will close the bracket okay here we are going to uh, give the um, this is uh, once uh, we complete our sentence then we are going to give the semicolon this de these detail things we are going to i am going to de discuss in detail but for the time being i am pr i am putting some java code inside the uh, tag this is how the scriptlet tag is only open uh, angular bracket and uh, percentage okay and in the expression tag is, it is equals to equal to the ex uh, equals and then expression we will provide the expression here okay okay and here inside this what we are going to write we are going to write uh, not this is new this is something date and, uh, and i am going to write one function kind of display display and here is the thing java dot util dot date okay java dot the return type is java dot util dot date and uh, here it will write uh, return return java dot util dot date what it will do it will return the uh, we have written one method right this one so i will write this code again uh, here and uh, i will call i will call this display function display function okay how uh, we call this one the, inside the um, okay inside the declaration tag what i have done i have uh, specified that one i have declared one method of type date and which will return uh, return new new java dot util dot date okay i have simply i have called this uh, i have called this method okay so what i want here is i want to print one br here means this one here close this one today's date 
print this then print this this declaration tag okay fine okay we have written uh, the java code inside the scriptlet tag and the expression tag and the declaration tag how we have uh, written what is the significance and uh, that i am going to ex explain as per the next uh, next video okay let me run what is the output it is giving the same output it is provide it is going to give for the scriptlet tag and the expression tag and the declaration tag okay okay So we have provided learn basic slash then uh, scripting element or JSP. Okay. So we got. Okay, we got the error. Okay. So here actually in in case in case of declaration we are going to provide the declaration symbol. We forgot that. Okay. And here expression no semicolon required. Okay. So now let uh, refresh this page. Okay, and so uh, we have missed the semicolon here so we have given that so we have written one method that uh, it will return the new date we have we are calling the method here so if i go to here and if i run okay so see the scriptlet tag okay after that we have not given br okay let me give the br But why it is not detecting? Okay, now it's fine. So on running this, uh, uh, on on running this uh, uh, JSP page, so what we are getting, the scriptlet tag is returning to the date is this one, and uh, expression tag also displaying the same response, and declaration tag also displaying the same response. So then, what is the difference between the scriptlet tag expression tag and declaration tag then oh, if the same java code we are so here uh, what we have done we have uh, we have just kept some java code inside the scriptlet tag uh, by what i have told uh, we can uh, give we, we can write the java code inside we can write so here see here we can write the java code inside the tag here also we can write the tag here also we can uh, write the java code into the tag so there are three kinds of tag declaration tag expression tag and the scriptlet tag those three tags we have just studied okay uh, so what is the difference between the scriptlet tag expression tag and the declaration tag that we are going to see as part of the next video okay and one more thing i just wanted to uh, tell you like uh, i have already discussed in the beginning of this video like uh, the response what it is uh, the response we are uh, getting that is the simple html page right okay so simple html code if i go to the view source page you can see this is html body this is header this is uh, whatever the things we have written that and this is the dynamic content this is the dynamic content okay this is the dynamic content only so this jsp page content so this kind of output we are going to whenever this jsp page processed by the server so it will return this kind of html content to the browser okay so if i refresh you can see if i refresh then the dynamic content will change all remain all things remain same only the dynamic content whatever the java code that will that is going to change okay for every time for every request okay so that's all for this video we'll meet in the next class